What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and in this video we're going to be going over what's better for you, Goodwill or Walmart, you know, so basically we're going to be comparing it to the pros, the cons, the negatives, you know, the whole nine yards, right? So first things first, let's go over the pros, so you guys already know I absolutely love Walmart, um, they got really low prices, and then for the most part, if you once you find an item, you can literally just go and buy that item up over and over and over, you can just go to several different Walmarts, you know, and just buy that that item up another good thing is that they're open literally 24 hours a day so if you wake up at three o'clock in the morning you like you know what i feel like making some money you can literally drive to a walmart and make some money you know um another thing is that they're everywhere so even the ones that close at like 12 o'clock you still got you know you might have one list literally like a mile down the road from that walmart that's open 24 hours a day then you got the clearance section in every single Walmart. There's a clearance section, at least every single one I've been to. There's been a clearance section. And of course, you got the health workers and stuff like that. All right. So cons is that they all have the same products. Now, I know, uh, you know, literally a few seconds ago, I was saying that, like that's a good thing. But that's also a bad thing as well, because if everyone has the access to the same products, then that means that, you know, only a few people are going to be able to make money with that. Most likely the people who are able to buy a lot of that item. Um, so let's say they go you know, person A goes into uh, Walmart with a thousand dollars and, you know, they have a product there and they're like, hey, I'll give you four dollars for it and i'll take all you know 200 units right and then another person comes in and they say oh well and, you know i got uh i'll take 10 units or whatever with ten dollars or whatever right basically the person with more money is going to have more buying power so they can say something like the product could be for like ten dollars i'll give you four bucks for each one just let me clear off the whole rack i'll take every single one that you got right they're going to have a lot more buying power. And then at the same time, that manager is going to be like, okay, yes, yeah, sweet. We need that um, that space or whatever. But either way, for the most part, they're normally going to be able to get that product a lot cheaper than someone who's going in and buying like one or two products, you know, or something along those lines, right? But uh, yeah, so that does suck when it comes to the same products because again, not everyone is going to be able to make money when it comes to those, you know, you're just going to be sitting there for a long time waiting for it to sell. All right. So another thing is long lines. Walmart has really, 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 really long lines, especially if they're doing any type of construction. Like some of the Walmarts I've been going to, they've been taking out the cashiers, um, you know, machines or whatever and replacing them with the automatic automatic ones or whatnot. So, yeah, that does suck when you got like literally like 20 people ahead of you in line. So, so that's why I normally go in the morning or, you know, at nighttime when, you know, everyone's like at work already and you know when everyone's already going to bed to get ready for work the next day right um another bad thing is that everyone has access to walmart so literally anywhere in the entire united states and even some other countries you got walmarts everywhere like literally everywhere you cannot go to a single state in the united states that does not have a walmart you know at least to my current knowledge anyway uh but yeah like walmart is everywhere and then unless you're doing climate changes like you're not going to see any different products for the most part in walmart so if you go to walmart and let's say you're in texas right all the walmarts in texas are going to be selling pools they're going to be selling you know like a lot of summer stuff and stuff like that but if you jump over to you know like uh, I can't even think of a place off the top of my head or whatever. let's say like Chicago or Illinois, right? Where it gets like really, 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 really cold. They're not going to be selling, you know, swimming pools and slip and slides and water guns and stuff like that all year round. So unless you're doing like climate changes, you're going to have access to pretty much the same products that everyone else has access to, right? Um, so parking, parking sucks sometimes because I mean, again, Walmart is a huge company, obviously, and you know, they're just everywhere you know what i mean there's just so much parking you know and then me personally i always park super far away because i want people to hit my car you know or you know or anything along those lines so you got to really be careful when it comes to parking um and then again on the cheap items there's lots and lots and lots of competition and then nine out of ten you know people who are just getting into retail arbitrage to jump right over into walmart you know and then they're buying products that cost one two three four five and ten dollars or whatever so you got all of those people basically just buying up those products over and over and over and then they all just waiting for it to be sold on amazon fba all right so let's jump over to the goodwill now you guys know i've been absolutely crushing it with the goodwill lately like just this morning i went out you know to one of the goodwills that i was driving past and we spent like 26 bucks and got like 80 to like 100 dollars in profit back not bad at all so 
the Goodwill has very, very, very low uh, price items. You know, they got a lot of hidden gems. Like sometimes some stuff you just got to look for. Um, you know, the return on investment is normally going to be a lot higher than um, well per item than on um, what is it for um, for Walmart, right? And then they're everywhere. And you know, the whole store is basically like a clearance section inside of Walmart. They uh, receive products from Target, Walmart, you know, so basically all other type of different stores. And uh, they got 50% off every single day of the week for the most part, at least in my area. You know, like so every single day um, there is 50% off the green tag. The next week it might be the blue tag. The next week it might be the purple tag or whatever the case may be. So there's always some type of deal going on. Not to mention, like, if you're a student like me, every Friday they give you 10% off, right? Um, plus the 50% if you apply that as well. All right, so cons. Use products that look new. You know, so you might open up, you know, a package or a box or whatever it may be. It might be wrapped up in the plastic. You get it home, you open it up or whatever, and then you see that it was like completely corroded or, you know, it's just like a bunch of dirt on them or whatever the case may be. You know, like you got to be really careful when buying products that look new um, at the Goodwill. And then another bad thing is unlike Walmart, where you can go buy, you know, like pretty much a whole bunch of one item that's going to make you a lot of money. When it comes to the Goodwill, there's normally only one of that item. So you might find an item that you're paying like two bucks for that's going to be like, like literally make you like a hundred dollars for it. But there's only going to be just that one, you know. Um, another downfall is no cash back. So... That does kind of suck because what if you want to take your money to, you know, a different store? Like, let's say you wanted to go shop at Walmart or they had a good deal or whatever. You cannot get cash back. You can literally buy something like right then and there, not leave the store, and they still will not give you cash back. You'll get store credit. Like, even though you never took the product out of the store, as soon as you hand them the cash, your the transaction is complete is done. You do not get cash back. Right. Another downfall is that you only have 10 days to return that item. So if you send it to FBA and then, you know, FBA sends it back to you and it's just like, you know, or, you, you know, it's damaged or it never sells or whatever the case may be, then you probably just you just SOL, you know, like there's nothing you can do about that. So you either have to try to sell it offline or you can try sending it back or, you know, whatever the case may be. But you can't take it back to the store. All right. And then another frustrating thing is this isn't really like a con. It's just like really frustrating is that there's a lot of damaged goods, you know, like really damaged goods that would make you a lot of money. I mean, like I've seen countless items, you know, that would be going for like two or three dollars that'll make, you know, a really good return on investment. But they're either broken, you know, or the people just like completely damaged, damaged them up, and, you know, just made them look horrible or whatever the case may be. You know, so, yeah, that sucks. All righty. So which one do I recommend? I obviously, you know, I recommend you do both of them if you have the budget, of course, you know, but if you have a small budget, I would highly recommend getting started with any type of uh, Goodwill or secondhand stores or anything along those lines because you have a lot of buying power even on a small budget. Um, you can, especially if you're going to, well, not Goodwill. I don't really think you can negotiate prices on there. I never even tried to negotiate a price at Goodwill, but like secondhand stores, you know, the off-brand ones, Salvation Army, stuff like that normally you can get a good deal. Like for me personally, just like two days ago, I went to the Salvation Army and I tried to talk to dude down or whatever. And uh, basically he was willing to give me a product that was going for $2 to, um, you know, $1.50 or whatever. So, I mean, it's not, it doesn't sound like a lot, but that 50 cent really adds up when you're buying a whole bunch of stuff or whatever. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped you out or whatnot, showed you the pros and cons and stuff like that. If I didn't list any of the cons or pros that you guys like, be sure to drop them down below. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know, all that fun stuff.